Lady Smock is a plant of wet grassland and other damp grassy places throughout the county. But nowhere does it occur in such eye-catching profusion as here in the Shannon Callows, where it can sometimes cast a pale lilac mist across an entire field, from which the medieval imagination could conjure up the fabric from which a woman's dress might be made. The lady in this case being the Blessed Virgin, whose name still clings to several common wildflowers. Lady Smock belongs to the cabbage family, the Cruciferae, a large and important family of some 3,250 species in 365 genera or groups of closely related species, many of great economic importance, especially as vegetables and salad plants. The flowers are characteristically cross-shaped, which explains the common informal name of crucifer as often used for the family. There are four petals. The upper part is blade-like and spread out flat to catch the insect eye, whereas the lower part is at right angles to that and is claw-like, the four claws forming a narrow tube enclosed by the calyx. If you look at the sepals, you'll see that there are four of these two, but they're not all the same. Two are inserted at a slightly lower level than the other two. And these lower ones are deeper and more boat shaped because they have to gather and store the much more abundant nectar oozing from the larger two of the four nectaries. These bigger nectaries are rings enclosing the base of the shorter stamens. And there are six stamens, two pairs of longer ones and two single shorter ones. One of the distinguishing chemical characteristics of the cabbage family is the production of chemicals known as mustard oil glucosides, which most insects find distasteful. But there is one family of insects, the white butterflies, or pieridae, which not only has become immune to the noxious taste, but plants of the cabbage family are its preferred diet. A familiar example to most gardeners will be the cabbage white butterfly. But another species, the orange tip, has made Lady Smock its preferred food plant. It's called orange tip because of the orange tips on the wings of the male butterfly. And the female lays her eggs, uh, usually one per plant, at the base of the calyx. And as soon as the egg hatches, uh, the little caterpillar consumes its own eggshell and then any other eggs of its own species it encounters before moving to a developing fruit where it spends most of its time. It can eat other parts of the plant as well, but the developing fruits are the main component in its diet. So it feeds away for about 25 days, and when the time comes to pupate, it leaves the plant and wanders, oh, for as much as 30 hours, for as long as 30 hours, the caterpillar equivalent of miles and miles before it finds a place it considers suitable for pupation. It's a very easy butterfly to breed in captivity because all you need to do is put your lady smock in a glass of water. As long as you remember that when it's time to pupate you need to put a cover on it because otherwise it will head off on its pupation journey. Lady Smock was an important plant in herbal medicine, especially in treating scurvy and epilepsy, and like all the cresses, is good in salads or a cheese sandwich. Distasteful as the plant's tissues may be to insects, the flowers are visited by various kinds of flies and bees, as well as beetles, butterflies and moths. Lady Smock is also commonly known as cuckoo flower because its arrival coincided 
with the flowering of the plant. As the great herbalist John Gerard wrote in the 16th century, it flowers when the cuckoo first begins to sound her pleasant notes without stammering. <laughs>